this, I'm so excited because today we're going to be doing jumbo braids. Now, I'm not sure what to call these. Honestly, I feel like I would call it French jumbo bag. Um... <laughs> French jumbo braids? I don't know. I don't even know. But I thought it'd be really cool if I combined two different colors. So if I went with a darker one and a lighter one, kind of to have a streaky look, I feel like that would look good. I haven't tried it before. I'm honestly troubleshooting on camera. So let's just hope it turns out good, okay? I, for some reason, did not fill up my spray bottle before sitting down. So I'm gonna quickly go do that. So step one is you literally just have to wipe your hair. I'm gonna try and give as many tips and tricks as I possibly can, but I'm also not the best at this. But through trying a bunch of these different hairstyles, I figured out that this is the best way for me to do it. Oh yeah, my hair is dripping on me and I do not like that at all. I have to do this quick. I'm very uncomfortable. So I'm just gonna start by doing a middle part and I'm gonna want to middle part it all the way to the back. I might have to call him back up because I cannot see the back of my head. And I also have to go out tonight. So if the back of my head is looking really wonky, people might judge me. Do I care? Not really. But also at the same time, a little bit. Skyla, can you please come help? I'm calling for backup because I can't do the back part. Oh, you're slaying. Really? Yeah. I couldn't tell. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna do French jumbo braids, or what should I call it? French braid jumbo brain? <laughs> French jumbo braids. Jumbo French braids. <gasps> jumbo French braids. Yep, that's the one. Nice check. <gasps> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Did you have that one? You need to go to jail after that one. Oh my gosh, how emo I look. I'm in love with an emo girl. They might copyright that because that was so accurate. That was good. <laughs> Like, I mean, it's literally good enough unless you want me to keep trying and trying. No, it's like, fine. It's fine. Are you? I made it worse. No. I'm going to clip up this part of my hair with this giant claw clip. It's so pretty. It's like the prettiest green ever. Focus. Oh my gosh. Focus. Focus. Hello. Why is it being annoying? Yes. It's still showing up so much lighter than it actually is. But anyways, it's from the brand Tony Rose. They sent some claw clips over to me and I'm actually very grateful for that PR package. Well, I'm grateful for every single one, but these claw clips are big enough to fit all my hair. Also, my sister surprised me with this pretzel claw clip, which might be the actual cutest claw clip I have in my collection. Probably the cutest hair accessory I have, period. Also, since no one asked, I'll show you what I have on my lips. This is from the brand Simi Haze. I think it's called Simi Haze. Well, it is called Simi Haze, but I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Regardless, the packaging is like a little marshmallow and it's so cute and this is like their super slick lip balm yeah super slick and this color is so cute on i feel like it would look even cuter if i had no lip liner it's giving the vibe that i want i don't know if i said i was going out actually i don't even remember what i said in the last like two seconds i honestly blame my adhd for my memory issues but i don't know if it's a deeper issue possibly lack of sleep but regardless when i said going out i don't mean going out to a club or anything i'm literally going to menchie's and if you don't know what menchie's is it's an ice cream shop and you can add all of your own toppings and pick your own flavors and it's quite a magical experience experience. So first I'm just making sure my hair is wet because honestly I feel like it's easier to braid my hair when my hair is wet and I'm just gonna add a little bit of this hair milk inside and inside <laughs> on my hair. I don't even know what I'm saying and this is the melon berry hair milk and it is so good. Whenever I pick a leave-in conditioner honestly I kind of pick based on smell. I'm not gonna lie. This one is giving Menchie's watermelon ice cream. I can't explain it but if you know you know. The next step is just detangling my hair. This is honestly pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna do a braid unless I detangle my hair mostly because I won't be able to <gasps> Sorry, I had to breathe there. I was not even breathing for a second. It was like I was rapping. What was I saying? Oh yeah. I will not be able to separate the sections unless I put leave-in in. Or some type of detangler or some type of something with slip. Honestly, just anything with slip. And by slip, I mean moisture because the moisture is going to help me separate my hair. There we go. Smooth like butter, like a criminal undercover. Now that this side is basically ready to go, I'm going to separate my braiding hair and get it ready. So I'm going to be using mostly this orange color and then I'm going to mix in a little bit of the brown. I shouldn't need more than one pack for both sides, to be honest. I'm going to show you each step anyways, but basically what I like to do is I braid my hair all the way down from the top as a French braid and then I add in the braiding hair around here. I'm trying to get this into the package right now and I feel like I'm fighting it. I've just found that to be the best method. Best method. Is that tissue box distracting? Because it's distracting me and I think I have to move it. There we go, I'm happy with that. I just found like a super coarse hair in there. Like this is basically rope. I could literally use this as a shoelace. Now I'm just gonna take the brown and honestly, I will not need an entire section for this because I'm just using it as streaks. I had planned to dye my hair this dark, but honestly, I'm not sure if it would suit me. I think it might make me look a little bit washed out. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna bother putting it in the bag. It's giving me trouble. I feel like these colors go really well together and honestly you can blend any two colors that you want, whatever your hair color is or whatever hair color you want to rope into your hair. Rope into, oh my goodness, braid into your hair. So I just like to get it prepped before I start braiding so I can quickly grab it. I usually do need my sister's help, I won't lie. But when I used to do these hairstyles super often, I honestly did not need her help. I was like low key an expert, but now I'm not an expert. I'm totally back to beginner status. But if I call her in for backup, don't judge me. So 
I'm just splitting the orange hair into two because I do not think I'll need more than that. And I'm trying to make sure it's the most even sections I can get because I don't want one braid super thick. And then from this section, I'm just gonna take a few streaks. Nothing too crazy. Just enough for some chunky highlights, but I don't want it to be overpowering because I actually do want it to blend nicely. So right now I have one chunk of orange and two mini chunks of this I almost said purple brown and I'm just gonna separate them a few times and kind of blend them together just a little bit I don't want them to be perfectly blended together because I'm not trying to create a whole new color but just enough you know I feel like this is good it's honestly blended enough for me and I've lost some hair in the blending phase I'm just doing the exact same to the other piece and they're not gonna be identical but I feel like that's gonna be the cool part they're gonna be a little bit unique and I think this part is blended enough for me as well as well Sorry, that was ugly. Don't click off, please. Now, from this point, this is too thick of a section for me to braid into my hair immediately, so I'm gonna split it into two. I'm just gonna lay it on my bed, to be honest, and do the same thing with this section. And I'm gonna keep one section with me so I can immediately add it in. Now, I'm not the best French braid teacher, but I'm gonna try my best to show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take three little sections from the very, very front of my hair, and once I separate these sections, I'm going to start braiding like normal. And I'm gonna do that for about two passes, and then I'm gonna slowly incorporate more hair as I go down. I'm gonna make sure I get a good angle so you can really see what I'm doing here but basically I'm just kind of feeding more hair in the thing with French braids is it honestly takes a lot of practice at least for me I was always practicing on my American Girl dolls so if you haven't tried a French braid on yourself before it might be a little bit before you perfect it but just keep on trying because it's honestly worth it now in an ideal world you might have wanted to give your hair a blowout I feel like it would breath blend with the hair better but I'm not really striving for perfection I want it to look cute and I don't want to use heat on my hair so this is what I'm doing I'm gonna be taking some braid gel to add into the braiding hair it's gonna give the braiding hair a little bit more grip because right now it's all loosey-goosey and also the braiding gel just tipped over it also smells like strawberry so I give it bonus points so I'm just gonna kind of randomly smear that throughout the hair there's no method here if you don't have a braid gel you can also just use hair mousse or regular hair gel anything is going to be better than nothing also the braid gel makes it a little bit easier Easier to work with the hair so that's also a reason why I love to use it now that the braid gels in the hair I'm gonna try my best to make three sections and I'm gonna do that by taking a little bit from each section and making a middle section so now as you can see I have three different sections here I have to call in backup Skyla I need your help again I'm sorry so now I'm gonna line up my three sections with the braiding hair three sections and so my sister's gonna help me out by passing it to me so now that I'm holding on to each section I'm just gonna start to braid it in in the regular braiding pattern I was doing hopefully it works out sometimes it doesn't it's a little bit of trial and error. So now that I've got this braided in, I'm gonna go down a couple braids. What do I even call that? A couple holdovers. And now I'm gonna add in the second section, which is gonna make the braid even longer. And we're repeating the exact same step that we just did, but now further down. So once again, she's just handing me my sections. Now that I have that all braided in, I'm just gonna keep braiding all the way down and don't mind this little mess here. Honestly, I'm not perfect. The hair's not perfect. Nothing here is perfect, but but nothing, I hope you're okay with that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's gonna annoy me. Oh well. It is what it is though. It is what it is. I really like how some of that brown is kind of peeking through. I feel like it looks really cute. And honestly, I've never tried that before. I really like how it looks. I feel like it ties in the darkness from the top of my hair. Nor my bra popping out, that's embarrassing. I don't own a strapless bra. I'm just taking a little bit more braid gel for the end of this braid to really make sure I'm securing it together. I honestly will probably use a hair elastic. Now I just have to quickly do the other side and make sure that it looks equal. I feel like the hardest part of every hairstyle is making sure it looks equal and I also just sprayed that in my eye. No wonder I have to use eye drops literally every single day because my eyes are so irritated. I literally get everything in my eyes. I am experiencing some extreme hair rage right now because this is not working out at all. This hair is bothering me. I am so annoyed. This side and this side, they're not even. And honestly, I don't even want to talk about it. At this point, as long as it's like passable, then I don't even care. So I'm just gonna finish off this braid and call it a day. Well, actually, I'm gonna do my edges first and then I'm gonna call it a day. The amount of anger floating through my system right now is actually unhealthy. And I think that I might sprout a few gray hairs from this moment. I am actually experiencing hair rage in its final form. I'm like seconds away from crying. <laughs> Honestly though, bold of me to assume that my hair was gonna work for me today. Recently, my hair just does not ever wanna work for me, so it's pretty on brand. Oh my gosh, there's just hair everywhere. This is how much hair I ripped out of my braid out of anger. I'm sick and tired, I'm sick and tired, I'm sick and tired, I'm sick and tired. I I'm sick and tired. My cousin's here, we're gonna dye her hair, so hopefully that will make me feel less angry because I wanted my hair to work out so badly. So I'm just doing my edges really quickly. Hopefully that will make it feel and look better. Oh my god, look at this comfy yeah. bed. Yeah. I pride myself on my comfy bed. Oh wow. my gosh, ow, ow. Visa. Whoa. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you okay? Are you okay? How'd the glasses get on? How did the glasses get on? <laughs> I don't know. Guys, guys, I just opened my eyes. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Something like that. Oh, I'm 
might just throw a headband on and call it a day. I don't have a headband. Oh yeah, I forgot that. That was the last minute. Well, this is the hair. I am not a fan of how it turned out. Honestly, it could have been a lot better. And I swear, guys, I have done it better before. But today, it's just not my day. Like most days, actually. I mean, I'm not mad at the edges. The edges are okay. We can thank Combat Edges for that. Why would, would they do the whole though? time? Why would laugh. you say that though? They no. laughed the whole time. Because then we were good and then Taylor's stomach made a noise. And then oh, oh, like, sweet. Wait, did Melo end up coming upstairs? Yeah, then she ran away. Hopefully next week I'll do better, so stay tuned for that. But I doubt it. Just kidding. <laughs> I have to stay positive. Don't forget to check out my other socials. I'll leave the link in the description box below as well as right here on the screen. And thank you so much for watching this week's video. I honestly hope you enjoyed it, even though I did not. <laughs> I'm happy that I finished my hair, to be honest, but the hair rage, it's just too intense for me. <laughs> Everyone, say bye! 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 Bye!